approximately 50% of all antibodies that are sold appear not to work. And if you calculate the amount of money that's being wasted, it's about $800 million a year worldwide on antibodies that don't work. The whole field is, is uh, uh, suffering from poor specificity of antibodies. Uh, many antibodies react to multiple targets. Uh, there is uh, sort of non-specific binding to FC receptors on, on cells in your, uh, that, that you're uh, trying to stain. We spend lots of time, uh, months, uh, almost years, to establish working panels that we can trust. It's a limitation. So we still use those antibodies because it's the best we have, but it's not the best. As a, as a human immunologist, a lot of the work we do involves uh, phenotyping of cells by flow cytometry. It's crucially important for us that we have high quality reagents to minimize um, variation between experiments. One of the main issues with um, fluorescence cytometry is the, the, the background fluorescence that is different from cell type to cell type. It's not only how good is my positive signal, but how low can be my negative signal. Well, I published a paper in Nature um, in 2015, I think it was now, with uh, Andreas Pluckthun and uh, about 150 co-authors. Um, and in that, what we said was that it was time to move on from monoclonal and polyclonal antibodies and that all antibodies in the future should be recombinant antibodies. Recombinant antibody technologies allows for more predictable um, production, I guess, of the antibodies and, and uh, also by allowing to engineer the antibodies for reduced uh, binding to FC receptors, for example, you can reduce uh, um, background noise and non-specific binding. And that's what we have seen in initial testing. Mertony has in uh, recent years um, brought a whole catalog full of so-called RIA or reaffinity antibodies. Uh, all of those are produced in culture. All of them come as an IgG1 subtype. All of them have a mutated um, FC receptor binding site and all of them are basically very reproducible in, and high in quality. The, the RIA uh, antibody we have used, we have seen that there is a huge advantage in terms of the background signal. And I think this is one of the most obvious thing uh, that we observe and this independently of the fluorochrome that was tagged to, to, to the antibody. This is where technology brings value to science. I think it's very much a matter of time. It will be as unacceptable to use a polyclonal antibody in 10 years as it is to use um, a gene that you haven't sequenced.